The old and nasty, dirty, dark, smelly. Walking through the hallways of old, dirty China feels crowded and dark. So everything you have heard of China until now is a lie. This is real China, sad and dark. These ones, at least you have a door, but in some of them, there is no even door or any separation between one and the other toilet. Today, we're coming to Changsha, the bustling capital and largest city of Hunan province. With a whooping population of over 10 million people, it is the 17th most populous city in the country and the third most populous in central China. Known far and wide as the construction machinery capital of the world, this city is the beating heart of an industrial powerhouse, home to booming sectors like automobiles, electronic information, household appliances, and biomedicine. But today, we're not coming to explore the economic potential of this city. We'll go to another place that I am sure you're going to love. Welcome back to another video. I am in Changsha, the capital city of Hunan province. It's been so long since I wanted to visit this place. Finally, I'm here and I'm visiting one of the coolest places and most popular spots in this city. I'm talking about Wen He Yo, where you can find a lot of different kind of restaurants. But not only that, this place is inspired on Hong Kong from the 80s. So you can hear a lot of Cantonese music, you can see a lot of Cantonese signs, a lot of Cantonese restaurants as well. Established in 2011 in Changsha, Wen He Yo, also known as Wen and Friends, faithfully recreated the vibrant local street culture of the 1980s. Over time, it has transformed into a captivating 80s culture theme park, offering a big array of dishes ranging from fried delicacies to crayfish and the infamous stinky tofu. People love to come here because first, it's like an indoor place, but at in the same time you feel like outdoor because you see the facade of different kind of buildings from that time in history. It has the decorations and the style from that part of China. A lot of people like to come here to take pictures, to make videos, a lot of different kind of like content creators. Transporting visitors through time with its carefully recreated details, this 20th century residential block is a nostalgic ode to the country's history, evoking memories with authenticity. But hold on to your hats because Wen He Yo isn't just a regular city center restaurant. It is actually more of a bustling night market extravaganza, complete with vibrant neon lights and tempting food stalls. And if you guys remember, this is like the old Nintendo or kind of like a, the first version of a Nintendo or a Sega, probably a Chinese version of it but it's connected actually to a TV and probably I think you can play. Let me see. No, you cannot, you cannot play. It's just like for decoration. Picture this. The entire space is transformed into a vibrant street scene straight out of three decades ago complete with retro advertisements and staff wearing outfits from back in time. It is like stepping into a time machine, but with better food and no awkward encounters with your past self. This place is packed seven days a week. You can see today it's Monday. We wanted to avoid this place on weekends because it's packed with a lot of people from all around China who come to this place because it's super famous. And actually today's Monday and you can see from this restaurant at least all the tables are already taken. There is people, even people over there waiting in line to get a table and probably have a snack, a local snack, local food in this place. And actually on my back you can also see a lot of people. So even on a Monday this place is packed but I guess on weekends there's even way more people. So preferably come here on a weekday to visit this place. 
For me, coming to Wang Hoyo felt like stepping into a time machine set for the vibrant streets of old Asia. From dangling broken cables to air conditioners on permanent vacation, every detail has been lovingly recreated to transport you back in time. Old school furniture, damaged brick walls, dazzling neon lights, and retro electrical appliances. It's really like traveling to the past. There is a whole world of nostalgia here with small shops where traditional delicacies and souvenirs are displayed. But there is way more than that. This quirky concept includes barber shops, video game rooms, cozy film theaters, massage parlors, and vintage boutiques right within the complex. These are also the old type of candies. Where, I mean, they're not that old, but the type of candies that people like to eat here in China, back in time and still nowadays. From severing traditional cuisine to immersing yourself in the city's vibrant heritage, every corner invites you to unleash your imagination and recreate precious memories. There is something for everyone. Elders might find themselves taken back to the golden days of their youth with every nostalgic detail, while young folks get to taste a slice of yesteryear's charm. So here they even have these arcade games where you can play and feel like in the 80s, when this huge machine allowed people to have fun. I don't know if people can buy these take them at home, but at least like you have in shopping malls perhaps, or these kind of uh, places to just play arcade games. You can see how old it looks like. All the pixels, these huge pixels from the old time screens. So, is it a popular place? Well, on a busy day, we're talking enough visitors to fill a small city, with up to 68,000 eager souls streaming through the doors and restaurants, booking over 30,000 reservations on average. They even have here these kind of pay phones. Remember back in time where phones didn't exist at all? You have to put some coins or walk with some cards to make some phone calls. Yeah, they're here. It is the ultimate 80s throwback. Where else can you find a barber shop with vintage radio news or keep back in a food spa center with black and white TV displaying classic documentaries? Look at these old suitcases and an old TV for a poor family here and the old electric things like an old lamp and then we have a radio. But the fun doesn't stop there. Wen Huyo even had celebrities like pop sensation Chang Yixing shoot music videos right there. Sparking a frenzy of excitement. So don't be surprised if you catch folks lining up just to snag a peek for their social media feeds. Now I will show you how it's a Chinese toilet. Like this. You have a vapor here. This is where you do your things. The water is here. And these ones, at least you have a door, but in some of them, there is no even door or any separation between one and the other toilet. These are squat toilets. The walls are yellow because people smoke here. Yeah. 
proven to be a hit in Changsha, Wen Heyo decided to spread its funky influence, popping in other big cities like Guangzhou and Shenzhen. Following a similar strategy to Changsha location, Wen Heyo has plans to take 10 high-end malls by storm in the next 5 years, including some locations overseas. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day-to-day -day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.